If you're in your 40s, 50s and heading towards your 60s and you're being told that you can't get faster on your bike, then this video is definitely for you. Now I thought I'd do a series of videos all about my training and what I'm doing at the age of 52, heading towards 53 now, to keep me strong on my bike and also talk about what I did my prep at the latter half of last year going into April that got me in really good shape to be able to post a PB up Sar Palobra of 31.33, knocking nearly four minutes off my previous time. If you stick around, I'm gonna talk about the intensity I put in on my bike training. What I do in the gym that keeps me strong, powerful, and still looking in really good shape, and why I don't follow a seven day rotation plan in my own training. Let's get the boring bits out of the way first. As you get older, you get weaker, your VO2 drops and your lactate threshold starts to plummet. Now, that can make most people think, well, what's the point? But here's the point. If you train it, you can reverse all of this happening to you and you can hold on to your performance as a cyclist and still stay strong and ride hills fast. The thing is, yeah, you've guessed it. You need to be consistent. And you need to be specific with your training. Let's talk about intensity. So in January, I did a eight week block of VO2 work. Now this was tough, but I know by putting that in early part of the year, it's gonna raise my VO2. And as I said earlier, as we get older, our VO2 drops. We need to address that in our training. I think this is where I think a lot of people make mistakes. They just see the winter training as slow, steady miles. Now, yes, okay, you can raise your VO2 with a lot of aerobic riding, but hands up here, who have a load of time to train and put that volume of work in to raise their VO2. Not many people, including myself, and I have quite a lot of free time to be able to do a lot of aerobic capacity riding, have that ability to do so. So it makes sense to put that VO2 block in in the winter, so January, so it runs through to January and February. So you go into the start of the spring with a much higher VO2 and your fitness is very strong and robust. The other intensity session that is a staple of my training diet is hill reps. A classic hill rep session for me is four times, eight minutes at just over threshold, working hard, breathing hard, and staying consistent with that effort from bottom to top. And the recovery is the steady ride back down to the bottom of the hill, turn around and back up again. Let's talk about what I do in the gym. So what does my strength training session look like? Well, it's pretty straightforward. It's things like walking lunges and step up for movement patterns, to make sure that I'm working unilaterally and making sure that I'm as even as I possibly can be. And then I do things like deadlifts, leg press, bench press, seated row. For core work, I do things like rollouts and cable crossover. The thing is, as I get older, so I'm 52, I'm gonna be 53 in December. I hear a lot of people saying, hey Simon, you're gonna get slower on your bike as you get older. Now you could be duped into that yourself, that that is inevitable and you can't fight back at it. But I disagree with the right training and the consistency of it, you can fight back at it. You can still look lean, you can still be strong, you can still ride your bike fast. But the thing I think that a lot of older cyclists do or don't do is the consistency in training and the specificity in their training to make sure that they are fighting back at their aging physiology. Look, I'm nothing special as a cyclist, but what sets me apart from most other older cyclists is that I know with the right training and being consistent with it, it's keeping me strong and fast on my bike. And I think mindset has a massive part to play in this, because if you speak to a lot of people, they generally accept that as they hit 50, things start to slow down and they get weaker and slower. And if you surround yourself with people like that, I can guarantee you're gonna start feeling like that too. And it's one of the reasons why I started Velo, because I wanted to create a space to help cyclists be part of a community that shows people that with the right training, with the right nutrition, with the right mindset, you can achieve so much more with your physicality as you get older. As I like to say a lot, you don't have to accept the fact that your age is determining your ability to ride your bike fast, unless you decide that that's what you want it to do. 
So is it possible to stay fast well into your 50s and heading towards your 60s? 100% yes it is, but do you know what? It's not easy. And just like you had to do when you were younger and you wanted to perform at your best, you had to be consistent and work hard at it. It doesn't change as you get older. In the next video, I'm going to talk about what I eat that keeps me lean, keeps me energized and keeps me strong and fast on my bike. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to watch the next video in this series, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.